been chaos outside everywhere. You see, Caesar has issued this decree that everyone in the land should be counted. Everyone has come back to their hometowns to register. And Bethlehem is packed with people. I've never seen anything like this before. The vendors are out selling like mad. The economy has never been better. It's never seen better days. It's quite amazing. I tell you, it would take a miracle, a, a miracle to top what I've seen in Bethlehem over these last few weeks. A complete miracle. Couldn't even begin to describe what it would take to top this. Before I get ahead of myself, let me introduce myself. My, my name is Stuart, and this is my inn, Bethlehem Bed and Breakfast. We were going to call it the, the Holiday Inn, but it just didn't have the same ring to it, if you know what I mean. It's been quite a night, folks. There was this couple who came late last night, late tonight after all the rooms were completely full. This couple came up and and the girl, she said, please, sir, do you have a place for us to stay? When I told them, like I've told everybody, I'm sorry. Well, man, it's full. But she looked at me and she said, please, we've been traveling 85 miles. We're so very tired. And my wife, she heard the whole conversation and she saw something that, you know, I didn't see. She saw that this girl was, was pregnant. She kind of gave me one of these. She kind of jabbed me in the gut. And I knew what that meant. It meant, A, I needed to find them someplace to stay tonight. Or B, I'd have to find someplace for myself to stay tonight. <laughs> so I chose A. And I told them that they could stay out in the barn. The barn... No place for any human being to be. It's full of stench, manure that creates the stench, animals, hay. No place to put two people, but it's all I had. I said to them, you can have the barn. There's nothing else I can offer. It's yours if you want it. They both smiled. They smiled at me and said, thank you. They started to walk off, and the gentleman, I, I think the guy's name was, was Joe. He turned to me. He turned around and said, God bless you. Then he looked at his wife, and he smiled, he, he put his hand on her stomach and he said, because he is about to bless us. You should have seen this couple. I tell you, there was something different about them. You know, I, think, I think the village kids can describe it best.
kind of a quirky word. We don't hear the word very much, but it's the only word that seems to fit. It's the word holy. Holy, yeah. That's the only word that can describe what I witnessed. Holy. They were just, they were just different. So it's hard to describe, you know? Can you describe your rooms to me, please? Pardon me? Your rooms. I need a place to sleep. Tell me about your rooms. I have no room here at the end. Everything is completely full. You're telling me this whole census thing, I mean, this is the hottest market in all the land, and I have traveled all the way from Galilee with my traveling app. The Galilee Gazelles. Hot. I'm telling you, a hot market for water. Oh, it really is. And I get to charge people out the waz to come see these guys. And you know what? We got this great song that they dance to. It's called The Carol of the Gazelles. I mean, these guys can dance and move in the water like you've never seen. You know what? I'm going to show you, and you're going to love it. My gazelles, it's time. It's time for The Carol of the Gazelles. I mean, don't be hating. 
because I have good looks, <laughs> talent, and money. All right? And one thing's for sure, I didn't read your sign wrong. What sign? I, I turned off the vacancy sign about an hour ago. <laughs> the star. I've been following the star for over a half hour. I mean, it's so bright. It like, it says vacancy. Or does it mean unvacancy? I mean, really, look at it. It's shining all over the entire inn. Well, technically it's shining just on the barn, but even you wouldn't put people in the barn, would you? Uh, no. Not, not even a pregnant woman. <laughs> what? Uh, nothing. Just, just keep talking. Well, you must have something for me. All I can offer you is directions, man. Directions? Directions? Directions to where? I need a place to lay my head. Let's see. There's a hotel down the, down the street. It's about three, four. It's the sixth motel. Oh, uh, the Motel Six. <laughs> I see. It's the one with the lights on. I guess I'll be going now. Mary Census. I'm, I'm sorry, what? Mary Census. Oh yeah, the census thing. I mean, it's like the biggest thing in all of the land for decades. It's turning commerce on its head. So I coined the phrase Mary Census. I even had it trademarked. Better than 3 P, baby. Okay? So, Mary Census to you. No, I like it. Mary Census. You owe me a dollar. He filed that star. What if it did mean something? What if that star had a purpose? It does seem to be lighting up my barn quite a bit. It's so big, I've, I've truly never seen anything like it before. But a sign? No way. My wife, she, she'd look at that star and, and she'd think maybe it's, it's, a, it's a God thing, but no. All right, Stuart. Get a hold of yourself. There's nothing special about a star. That's just crazy. Crazy? Crazy? This is crazy. Pardon me? I know what is going on inside your barn. I've been inside your barn. You, you smell like my barn. <laughs> that sheep dip. I'm a shepherd. How did you know about my barn? It's a star. The star says it all. That them angel alien things. <laughs> that I was minding my sheep, and my sheep were like, bah. You know. And then that angel thing was like, ha. And I was like, ah. <laughs> and he said to me, fear not. Then what? What? After the whole ba and ha and ha and fear not. Oh, oh yeah. The angel said, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. Today, in the town of David, the Savior is born to you, who is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Then all of a sudden, there was a bunch more than an angel alien. It's all over. I still have spots in my eyes. <laughs> and we filed the star to here, and just when we get here, pop! There's me, just like they said. How did, how did you know all that? It's etched right here in my brain. <laughs> the angel aliens put it in there. Mm. I cannot help but, but tell everyone. Oh, did you hear that? I gotta go. Mary Census! You owe me two
crazy shepherd thinks an angel spoke to him. The shepherd thinks that God has a purpose for that star. I mean, there are people like this shepherd that try to see God in everyday life. For me, the only way I could believe is if God would just appear, you know, in the flesh. Now that would take a miracle. Some people see miracles every day. Might keep looking for one. You know, on the other hand, maybe God does have a purpose for that star. What do you think? What if that star is, is guiding some weary traveler tonight? Well, I think it would take a very wise man to answer that question. Where are you going to find a, a wise man in this old place? Is this the place? The place? Yes, yes, the place. Come on, I, I don't have time to waste. All right, all right. Don't be in such a haste. What's in the case? The case? <laughs> I guess this is the place. Your name? Ah, uh, King Stewart. No. Can't read the red part. <laughs> <laughs> your name? Your, your name? Ruben King. King Stewart. You can call me Rube. You can call me Stu. <laughs> Here's my car. I deal with impossibilities. Impossibilities? Yes, that's my job. All right, all right. What's in the case? It's a barrage. A barrage of what? Uh, a barrage of bulk. What kind of bulk? It's expensive bulk. For whom? Well, for the baby. The baby? The baby in the barn. The baby in the barn? How do you know about the baby in the barn? Well, I follow the star. The star? The star? I follow the star to the baby in the barn in Bethlehem. You follow the star to the baby in the barn in Bethlehem. The star. Well, the baby. Impossible. That's my job. Okay, Rue. No more berating around. What's your beef? Can I bounce a secret off of you? <laughs> As he leaned in closer to me, I could think of only one thing. Tic Tac? Oh, great. <laughs> And only one and a half calories per minute. Bingo! Well, I won't lie to you. I'm going to be straight with you. I'm, I'm going to be kind of frank. Uh, I think I'll be candid. In fact, I think I'm going to be Kurt. Maybe I'll be Captain Kurt. Uh, anyway, I'm going to pull, I won't pull the wool over your eyes. I'm just going to lay all my tables, all my cards on the table. All my tables on the car, whichever works. Get on with it, Rue! All right, Stu, the baby in the barn. What about the baby in the barn? The baby in the barn is the son of God. The baby in the barn is the son of God? Yes, the son of God. In impossible. That's my job. To think I left the Messiah out in the cold last night. I'd hate to be you. <laughs> How did this happen? Well, she said yes, that God made the impossible possible. Well, listen, I'm getting inside that barn, and if two of my associates and a drummer boy show up, send them in. Whoa! A drummer boy? What does he do? He bangs on his drums. <laughs> He's going to bang on his drums? He's going to bang his drums for the baby in the barn. He's going to bang on his drums for the baby in the barn and butt. Basically. Beautiful. What ballad? Rub a bum bum. Rub a bum bum? <laughs> Rub a bum bum? You tell, you tell him to play his drums for him? Rub a bum bum. He don't play the best for him. Rub a bum bum. Rub a bum bum. Rub a bum bum bum. <laughs> Catchy. Well, before you go, Mary Census. Uh, what's that? Mary says this, it's the, it's the biggest thing this town has ever seen. It'll change history, so Mary Census. No, no. The biggest thing that's happened in Bethlehem and the world is what's happening in that barn. You should call it Mary, Mary had a Christ child in a barn after following a star all night, day. I gotta make that shorter, don't I? Okay. Well, I'm off to the barn. Bye-bye. Bye. Well, it's 
It's starting to happen. I guess if God can work through me, He can work through anybody. Soon Bethlehem will be waking up and they'll be wanting food in their stomachs and they'll rush around in their own little world and, and they won't realize that a Savior just entered the world. What a night. What a night. A silent night. Yes, even the, even the holy night. There's that word again. To think, I almost missed this, even in my own home. So rest, child. Rest, rest while you can, child. Sleep while you can, because your work is about to begin. Speaking of work, my work is just about to begin as well. I've got to, I got to run this in. So, Mary census. Let's let's not make this about money and getting things. I don't want to miss this. It's about the Christ child, Christ. So, Mary Christmas. Yeah, Mary Christmas. See you all later.